my personality uh, kind of says that oh my god she is the killer she is the murderer <laughs> in television i have only explored the reality space i have never really acted on television as an actor you do get selfish and you want to be you know doing things your way so today we have with us actress gohar khan who will be talking to us about her upcoming show best seller you know uh, just like every character in the show your character also seems to be very mysterious so can we expect the unexpected you think that okay the plot is going a certain way and then you'd be surprised as to where it goes the very next minute so it's a show that's always going to keep you on the edge of your seat and and i'm sure best seller is about a book but uh, it'll be a best seller even on the visual medium i'm sure you know if i have to ask you to describe your character uh, mayanka kapoor in three words what would those three words be very human she's very strong and uh, she's a people's person she tries to keep people at bay uh, but once she gets along with people she kind of you know enjoys her life as well one part of the narrative of the show explores how a social media troll tries to ruin a celebrity's life i want to ask you over these years how have you learned to battle this trolling nuisance i just ignore it by <laughs> not not giving my time of the day to it arjun bajwa's character is facing a writer's block and you seem to be his source of guidance you as an actor have you ever felt such dilemma what to do next what projects to say yes or no to i i have a very good instinct uh, for my work so no i don't really go through a dilemma uh, because i have had a uh, mashallah consistent career for almost two decades now whether it was modeling or acting or you know being on television in the reality space you know you are one of those actors who has dabbled with films television and now web series how uh, similar or different is the process in all the mediums different because in television i have only explored the reality space i have never really acted on television Uh, films and uh, uh, being on stage or whether it's the ott platform eventually you're an actor so you're performing so it's not really different different but i think when you're performing live the pressure on you as an actor is much more than when you're giving a take in front of the camera so yeah i think that's the only difference you know we have heard of actors improvise on sets especially while making comedies uh, but when you are working on a thriller is there any room for improvisation no because you're kind of sticking to delivering you know what the script really demands more than the actor it's the director who kind of you know uh, pulls the strings and calls the shots and we have to follow because eventually we have to put across the thrill the uh, element of surprise or shock to the audience and that will only be done if you follow the guidance of uh, the director because as an actor you do get selfish and you want to be you know doing things your way but i think if you are if you are in a thriller space then you should definitely stick to taking your guidance from the director at least i go by that you know gohar i have to tell you how much i have enjoyed rocket singh over these years uh, which was your debut as an actor you know in these last 13 years how much love have you received for that film rocket singh is something which uh, uh, you know only people can dream of as a debut because it didn't really uh, uh, establish me as oh i am opposite someone but it established me for my potential and for the actor that, that i am and that too with such great co-actors and uh, and yet koina shekh's character stood out so much so for me it was like the perfect audition for the rest of my career because people you know sat back and noticed oh that you know she she is here and she's here to stay so i owe a lot to rocket singh actually you know ditto for ishak zade i remember uh, when i read the reviews everybody was going gaga over your performance so is ishak zade also a special experience as an actor you know honestly speaking uh, every film that i have done um, i have had a great mention in most of the reviews you know uh, even begum jaan in fact uh, i was uh, you know my character was most spoken of in all the reviews yeah. especially that one scene of bed when i did parda parda which was just a song in once upon a time in mumbai i still remember shobha de ji had actually touted that as the best part of the film and mentioned me about how you know i have done justice to a song which was a, a legendary song by helen ji so for me all those kind of reviews really uh, mean a lot 
and I'm very grateful that every work of mine has been appreciated like that. So yes, Ishak Zadi as well is extremely special to me. Mithun Chakravarti has always been one of the best things about every film or every series that he does, and I'm really looking forward to your scenes with Mithun Da. Can we expect some scenes of Mithun Da and you in the series? Yes, many scenes. There are many scenes of me and. Uh, you know i i forget that he's the legendary mithun da in that scene and he's just the assistant commissioner who i kind of hate i don't want to be in that space with him you know because he's always grilling people and you know wanting to get and he has a lovely character where he you know uh, he is very sarcastic so he cracks a joke but there's a lot of sarcasm in it so i really enjoyed working with him and i'm sure people will love watching us on the screen you know you have done thrillers before you did game you did fever now after best seller i feel you seem to have mastered the art of thrillers would you like to believe so the good part is that my my personality uh, kind of says that oh my god she is the killer she is the murderer <laughs> but mostly eventually that's not the case play a good uh, fib in every thriller and in game i i, I was uh, never thought of the as the killer and at the end you know it was a complete shocker you know as an actor it's always exciting when a series ends in a cliffhanger and the actor has to actually repeat the performance in the second season but as an audience are you fond of cliffhangers or do you believe that some series can be concluded in just season 1 no if the series is as good as best seller we'll all hope for a season 2 and a 3 and 4 but it won't be a cliffhanger of sorts it will be kind of a conclusion in terms of you know uh, where the plot is going it's not like you'll be like are ye kya hua you know there will be a certain climax to it uh, which will keep you wanting more and lastly since it's a series about a writer i want to ask you if you have to give a title to these 13 years of your journey so far what would that be uh, aptly it will be and it goes on because i i tend to i hope to work till i'm in my 80s inshallah yeah thank you so much ma'am for joining us uh, looking forward to best seller and all the best ma'am thank you so much thank you bye bye subscribe to midday india get direct notifications on all our videos by clicking on the bell icon 